Welcome to NHK's Radio English Conversation Program. I'm Marcia Krakauer. Hi, everybody. I'm Jeff Clark. We're here to enjoy learning English together. Blading on the Promenade. Judy and Lee are getting ready for some inline skating on the promenade along the Hudson River. Putting on all this protective gear is the worst thing about blading. Better knee and elbow pads than broken bones. Thanks for reminding me how dangerous this is. Every sport has its dangerous side, Judy. You just have to be prepared. I look like a robot in all this black plastic. Let's take off before you change your mind. Hey, can I hang on to you when we cross that busy intersection? Sure, if you need to. What time did you say we were meeting Jason at the Chelsea Piers? In an hour. Couldn't we have taken a cab there? And miss a chance to blade along the river? No way! It's just that it's so far. Hey, you're the one who said you needed exercise. I know, but I didn't realize blading could be this agonizing. Just slow down, okay? Don't be such a wimp. Let's go! A park ranger patrolling the promenade on his bicycle slows down when he sees Judy and Lee. Ladies, you're in the wrong lane. I thought we were allowed to blade down this promenade. You can, but the very right lane is the slow lane for runners, not for skaters. If you ask me, it's the joggers who are overtaking us. That's beside the point. We can't make exceptions to the rule. Yes, sir. That guy takes his job way too seriously. I'm sure he's seen his share of collisions. Judy is finally picking up some speed. Looks to me like you're having a good time, Judy. I feel alive again. Pass it on your left, ladies. Not that way, Judy. Move to your right. Ah! Judy almost collides with the blader. Are you all right, miss? I'm fine. Everything's cool. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea after all. Let's just take a cab. We've already come this far, Lee. I'm not about to let up now. The company softball team. Early one afternoon, Carrie is hanging out with her co workers, Sally and Mike, at a company league softball game in Central Park. This uniform is way too big for me. We're playing softball, Carrie. Who cares how you look? It's just that my co workers are used to seeing me in a business suit. I thought you were on the team last year. No, I've never done anything like this before. Never? Why not? Hanging out with my co workers after work is not my idea of fun. So, what changed your mind? Oh, I don't know. I guess I needed a change of pace. I'll be honest with you. I joined because I didn't want to miss out on a corporate bonding experience. What's so bonding about being struck out by a co worker? Okay. Who's up next? Don't let this softball uniform deceive you. I'm just a spectator. Let me know when you get up enough nerve to play. Hand me a bat. I'm ready. All right, Sally. Show them what you got. Ball one. Good eye, Sally. Good eye. Sally hits a line drive off the next pitch and slides into second base. Holy smokes! What a hit! My gosh! I didn't know she had it in her. Sally's been playing softball ever since we started the league. Who would have thought our senior copywriter would be such a good athlete? Way to go, Sally! Oh, there's the hot dog vendor. Can I get you anything? Are you here to eat or play softball? It's called avoidance. I really don't have it in me to be an athlete. When was the last time you played any kind of team sport? I played softball in high school. Then you're just feeling a bit intimidated. And old. Besides, I didn't think everyone would be so competitive. We're here to have fun, not compete. Oh, sure. It's lots of fun when you know what you're doing. Hey, Mike! It's your turn at bat. 
Excuse me while I slam one over the right field fence. <laughs> Not competitive, eh? Just get ready to cheer me home. A personal trainer. Miguel and his uncle Bill are having lunch in the kitchen. You've been looking really fit lately, Bill. What's the story? If I tell you, you'll have to keep it to yourself. I love a good secret. Well, I've been using a personal trainer. I didn't even know you were going to the gym. I was afraid if people knew, they'd think I was vain. You're just keeping yourself in shape. That's not vanity. I know, but a personal trainer? It sounds a bit indulgent. Bill, it's one of the hottest fitness trends around. I've joined plenty of gyms in my lifetime, but I kept making excuses not to go. Exercise regimens can get stale real fast. So I figured if I got a personal trainer, I'd be more motivated to work out. How's it going? It's been great. I haven't canceled a single appointment. You make appointments to go to the gym? You have to. Otherwise, your trainer gets booked up. It must get pretty expensive. But it's worth it. I've never felt better. Bill takes Miguel to his gym for a workout. Thanks for letting me share a session with your personal trainer. It'll be fun and free. I've got a guest pass. You lead and I'll follow. I usually do about 30 minutes or so on cardio equipment, like the treadmill. How about weight training? I do the standard circuit on the machines, plus free weights. My abs could use some toning. Muscle tone is one thing, but the key is being in tune with your body. Your personal trainer, does he know much about nutrition? Actually, my personal trainer's a woman. Really? Is she strong enough? She's just as good as a male trainer, if not better. Here she is now. Bill, I see you brought a friend. Ready to get pumped up? Go easy on me. I'm a weakling. <laughs> I start slow. And then turn up the torture. No pain, no gain, eh? Something like that. So, guys, if we get going now, you'll be out of here before lunch. Good. All this new energy is making me awfully hungry. The trading card debate. Emma, at dinner with her parents, takes out a set of trading cards picturing cartoon characters. Excuse me, Emma, but we don't bring trading cards to the dinner table. Your father's right. Please put them away. But, Mom, Susie gave me this rare card in the schoolyard today. Oh, let me see. Isn't that one really valuable? I've only been trying to find it for like a million years. What do you say to getting it appraised this weekend? Can we really, Dad? Wait till Susie hears about this. Nathan, not you too. It's dinner time. I don't get it. All this excitement over some little pieces of cardboard. Mom, these trading cards rule. And they're expensive. How much did we spend on that last set? That's because they're valuable. Now you're beginning to sound like your father with that baseball card collection of his. I started that collection when I was six years old. Hey, that's my age. Yeah, but you only paid a nickel for a pack of ten, Nathan. And you got gum. Nearly everything I know about baseball, I learned from those cards. I know. You're a walking baseball encyclopedia. Full of useless information. Useless? You never know when you might need Mickey Mantle's batting average for 1958. Can't we ever get rid of them? Sylvia, do you hear what you're saying? Mom, those cards are probably worth more than our apartment. What are you, Emma? A trading card broker? It's not about the money, Sylvia. What then? Nostalgia? Adolescent fantasies? It so happens that the Metropolitan Museum of Arts has a collection of more than 30,000. Sounds to me like some curator has a baseball fetish. Seriously, Sylvia, they're on display in its American wing. Are you trying to tell me that this validates what you're doing? Some people collect Van Goghs. 
Others collect baseball cards. And cartoon cards. Unlike cultural life, there's plenty of good news about the sporting life. People still like to do sports as well as be spectators.、Uh, there are a few exceptions, Marcia.、Uh, me, for instance. I know. <laughs> But weren't you at all excited watching the Summer Olympics 2000? Well, I only saw a few events, but I have to admit, I really got into them. Especially sports like judo or swimming that I've experienced myself. Unfortunately, Marcia, your favorite sport isn't in the Olympics yet. No, but golf is constantly gaining in international popularity, especially since Tiger Woods began his amazing, phenomenal career.、Uh, Tiger is praised and liked by just about everyone, and Rightly so. But there are people who criticize a system where top athletes may get over $100 million in a single year, mostly money from endorsing products.、Mm -hmm. The commercialization of sports. There's criticism of the Olympics being commercialized as well. But realistically, what can or what ought to be done? These women and men have special talents that are highly evaluated. Well, I think that's where the criticism is really directed. What are our priorities? Making new golf courses or preventing deserts? You're terrible, Jeff. <laughs> You're trying to spoil my greatest source of pleasure and only source of exercise? <laughs> Come on, Marcia. No. I'm just saying that the sporting enthusiasm may have gone a little bit too far. Look at the doping problem. It's not just in the Olympics, it's Now in high schools as well. You're not wrong. But somehow I sense a sour grapes attitude. <laughs> Whatever you can say about it, pro and amateur sports are enjoyed around the world and they do bring people together. All right. You're correct. Absolutely correct. Thank you. <laughs> and now let's move on to an all pervading topic science and technology.